All right, final testing of the Arduino WT588DU soundboard project. It is, it is to where I like it. Um, so I'm just going to kind of let it be at that. So what you've got here is the button and MOSFET indicator LED. That's just an indicator LED to um, get me into the habit of wiring my MOSFETs properly. Um, this LED is the busy LED for the uh, soundboard, and the soundboard does not need the busy pin. Uh, take it right out of your code. It's not in the code provided by Lewis. Um, it is it is not for one line uh, serial mode. You only need the busy pin for three line serial mode. So I recommend taking it off, and you don't even need uh, to occupy the pin on your Arduino. This is the Arduino Nano. I'm no longer using my Arduino mic, um, Micro because the Micro appears to be an extinct format of Arduino. I picked it up for like seven bucks at a Radio Shack on clearance. Um, so, man, this focus is just straight awful. So anyway, here's the button. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. There you go. Sounds good. And the swing sensor is that little green guy right there. And then this little black guy here is the clash sensor. Obviously works. So, you know, it'll, it'll mix it up as you're moving it around. The sensitivity probably could be tweaked uh, with just some tweaking of the delays and the debounce time. Um, other than that, sounds pretty good. And just uh, as before, this MOSFET here uh, will control the powering off of the unit when the lights turn off. Um, I just realized this tonight. If I don't have my resistor or a resistor up here connecting the ground to the ground pin, which I believe is the S pin, if there is no resistor between ground and the unit, it failed to work. I had the resistor wired on the positive side, and it wasn't working. I don't know if that's normal. Um, but it wasn't working. So now that I moved the resistor, because I had, this is a different setup. I went back to my old breadboard to see how I had it set up, and lo and behold, the resistor was on the ground side of the LED. So I hooked it up to the ground side, and it is working. So let's hit the off button. Turns off, and you can see the LED is off. That means the ground is broken to the sound module. So if you were to hit the sensors, it's not going to work. And you can see that light going off. You know, it's trying to make a connection, but, you know, no, no. I, I oppress you. You are my slave. So it is off. So there it is. Um, this should fit into the hilt just fine. I'm switching over from a 18650 uh, lithium-ion battery to an A. One, two, three, form factor. Both are uh, 3.7 volts. Um, switching over to the A123 because it's just so much smaller. Um, still, you can still get them with about 2,500 milliamp hours, and that's still more capacity than your average four banger or three banger for triple A's. You know, the best triple A's are going to be 1,200 milliamp hour total. So it's still double that, and you know, um, what I'll be putting in, what I'll be putting in is a, you know, a five volt buck boost uh, converter to, to up the voltage to the Arduino and to the soundboard, and then a separate MOSFET that will be branched off of that five volt step up will go to a three point three uh, volt step down 
uh, 750, 800 milliamp uh, buck boost just so I can preserve my power and not be burning any juice away with a resistor. I refuse to run my LEDs with resistors. Um, it's just, it's just kills batteries and all that heat. There's no reason to do it. Um, that's it. All right. So thanks to all the people that got me this far. And, um, I can only assume that I'm going to improve this design. Oh, has, if anyone has thought about this, the digi spark, uh, Arduino is super small. It's like this big and it has six pins. Um, six pins, if you get rid of the busy pin and you can somehow piggyback with this MOSFET, if you only need one, um, data channel to drive this MOSFET, if you could somehow tie this MOSFET into the LED driver as well, and I think you can, um, I just gotta play with it. Um, you know, I, I, it's late. I'm not gonna. I, I'm I'm tapping out for tonight. But I think I can actually do it with one. The Digispark is so small, it would really free up for a larger battery to use the Digispark unit. And and this is key. It has a built-in stick USB uh, data and power, so you could buy the five volt buck boosters that have the normal form factor uh, USB female ports and shove your digispark directly into it to giving it power uh without running any cables and you can do the whole thing without pcb perf board you can just do some wiring and build a simple chassis and the whole thing would probably be including the battery if you hook it up to an a123 the whole thing including the soundboard would be no uh, bigger than a traditional uh AAA battery pack you know, saving a lot of room. Maybe you can put a crystal now in your lightsaber just with that savings of space. Um, all right. Have a good night, y'all.